Why do we give one of the most powerful arthritis medications just once a week? And why is that a good thing? Let's talk about methotrexate. Hello, this is Dr. Siddhar Thamber from Chicago Arthritis and Regenerative Medicine. I specialize in non-surgical treatments for musculoskeletal conditions, rheumatology, regenerative medicine, and metabolic health. My goal is to help you live pain-free and optimize your health with cutting edge treatments. Today, we're talking about one of the most commonly prescribed medications in rheumatology, methotrexate. If you or someone you love has been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, or another inflammatory condition, there's a good chance you've heard of methotrexate, or maybe you're actually already taking it. But there are a lot of questions and even some confusion about this medication, such as, why is it only taken once a week? Is it a chemotherapy drug? What are the risks? Why do we even use it in the first place? Let's break it all down in a way that's clear, practical, and easy to understand. Methotrexate's a medication that's been used for over 40 years. It started out as a chemotherapy drug for cancer, but in low dosages, it's now one of the most effective and commonly used medications to treat rheumatoid arthritis. It's what we call a DMARD a disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug. That means it helps slow down or stop the overactive immune system that causes joint pain, swelling, and long-term joint damage in diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. In simpler terms, your immune system is attacking your joints. Methotrexate helps to calm down that attack. So why do we use methotrexate? We use it because it works well, has a long track record, and can help prevent serious joint damage and disability in people with inflammatory arthritis. It helps to reduce joint pain and swelling, improve function, prevent long-term joint damage from developing, lower the need for steroids like prednisone. We also know that early treatment with methotrexate can improve your overall quality of life and even help you live longer if you have a serious autoimmune condition. Now here's something that confuses a lot of people. Why do you only take methotrexate once a week? Not daily like many other medications. Here's why. Methotrexate works by affecting how cells grow and divide, especially the immune cells that are overactive in autoimmune diseases. When taken daily, even in small dosages, it can build up quickly and become toxic. But when taken once a week, we get just the right amount to control inflammation without overwhelming your body. So once a week dosing is more effective for inflammatory arthritis, safer for your liver and other organs, less likely to cause serious side effects. If you take methotrexate daily by mistake, it can be dangerous, even potentially life-threatening. So it's super important to understand that it's a once weekly medication. You can take methotrexate in two different ways, either by mouth, usually as a pill, or by injection under the skin like an insulin shot. The injection form can be helpful if you're getting nausea from the pill or if the pill form isn't working well enough. What are some of the common side effects? Like all medications, methotrexate does have potential risks. Here are the most common potential side effects. Nausea or upset stomach. Fatigue the day after taking it. Mouth sores, hair thinning, low white blood cell count in rare cases. Understand that these don't happen in the majority of people, but as with all medications, there is a potential for side effects. To help prevent these from happening, most people will also take folic acid, a type of B vitamin that protects healthy cells from methotrexate side effects. Folic acid is usually taken daily. While methotrexate is generally safe, especially at low dosages, there are some more serious risks to be aware of. Liver irritation or damage. Lung inflammation, rare but serious. Increased infection risk. And birth defects if taken during pregnancy. That's why we monitor you with regular blood tests to check the liver, kidney, and blood cells. And careful follow-up visits and discussions about other medications, alcohol use, and future family planning. So is methotrexate chemotherapy? Yes and no. In high dosages, it's used for certain cancers. That's how this treatment originally started. 
but in low dosages, which is what we use for autoimmune conditions, it works very differently. Think of it like this. A race car and a regular car can both have the same engine, but how you drive them makes all the difference. In rheumatology, we use a much lower dose than in cancer treatment, and the goal is not to destroy cells, but to gently calm the immune system. Methotrexate does not work overnight. It usually takes four to eight weeks to start noticing improvement. In the meantime, we may use other medications like anti-inflammatory drugs or short-term steroids to help you feel better while methotrexate gets up to speed. Common question that I hear from patients as they're beginning this medication is, can they eventually stop methotrexate later on after starting it? And the answer is yes, that's possible. Some people go into remission after being on methotrexate for a while. At that point, we might try lowering the dose or even stopping it, especially if your symptoms stay quiet. But we always do that carefully and only when it's safe. Another question that I hear is, are there alternative treatments for rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and other inflammatory arthritis conditions? Yes, there are other medication options including biologic medications like Humira, Enbrel, Sympniaria, Remicade, Orencia, JAK inhibitors like Rinvoke or Zeljans. But methotrexate is still often the first choice because it's effective, it's affordable, we understand it really well, and it can even boost the effect of other biologic medications if you need to use those as well. Let's recap. Methotrexate is a key treatment for autoimmune arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis and psoriatic arthritis. It works by calming the immune system and protecting your joints from damage. It's taken once a week, not daily, to keep it safe and effective. Most people do very well on methotrexate, especially with careful and regular monitoring. And it's not just a chemo drug when used in autoimmune conditions. It's a time-tested, life-changing medication when used correctly. If you found this helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our website at chicagoarthritis.com for more expert advice on staying pain-free and healthy. You can also follow us on our social media channels for more tips on living well with arthritis and inflammation. Thank you for watching. See you next time and live well.